So part D, write down the vector to line 3. Line 3 is perpendicular to plane 2. So this is my equation of plane 2. So if this is plane 2, then I know that the normal to plane 2 will be 2i minus j plus 3k. And if I know that point Q line 3 passes through at point Q. If I put point Q to be there, then I know that line 3 passes through that point and is perpendicular, because it tells me line 3 is perpendicular, and Q is 4, 9, 1. So line 3 must be the point that it goes through, which will be 4i plus 9j plus k, plus some constant s times the direction of line 3, which is perpendicular to the plane, which will be 2i minus j plus 3k. And that's my expression for line 3. Find the shortest distance between line 1 and line 3. Line 1 and line 3. So line 1, I know from way, way, way back when, is going to equal i minus j plus 3k plus t times i plus 6j minus 2k. And I know that line 3 is 4i plus 9j plus k plus s slots of 2i minus j plus 3k. Okay. <laughs> If I call this a1 plus t times d1, and this is a3 plus s times d3, and these two lines um, are going to be skewed lines because they don't, they're not got, they don't have the same direction. Therefore, l1 is not parallel to L3, and they won't have the same intersection point because um, we won't find the same. I'm just going to assume they're going to be skewed lines, and the reason I'm going to assume they're going to be skewed lines is that I'd like to use. Um, I'd like to use this to find where the normal will be the normal between the directions of the two lines. If they're not skewed and there's an intersection point, this is going to give me a distance of zero. So I don't have to prove skewed, I can use this because if the lines um, are parallel, then I don't get an answer here. And if the lines um, have some intersection point, I'll get a zero at this particular point because the minimum distance would be zero. So um, A3 minus A1 is going to equal 3i plus 10j minus 2k. N is going to equal d1 cross d3, which will be 2, negative 1, 3 cross 1, 6, negative 2. And that's going to give me minus 16i plus 7j plus 13k. And the magnitude of it is going to equal the square root of 474. So my distance is going to equal the magnitude of A3 minus A1 dot product N hat, which is going to give me 3i plus 10j minus 2k dot 16i plus 7j plus 13k all over the square root of 474. Trying to calculate it gives you the square root of 16 on 474. 
which is the square root of 8 onto 37.